This is the video review for Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Basic uh, Thunderhead. Now as you see, he's kind of a ramble scrap metal from Cybertron style weapons platform tank thing. Uh, and he's got his little sergeant, uh, little partner up here, uh, Major Tungsten. Uh, who rides up there and just basic little human alliance figure. A little smaller than the than the figures that come with the uh, with like Bumblebee and Sideswipe, uh, these guys. I didn't bring one in, I should have. Um, but you can see just an orange and gray, uh, like a little wep treaded weapons platform, basically, you know, like that. Um, which is overall, overall pretty cool. Um, I think he's probably the weakest of the three I got today. Um, and I got these because they, they're starting to show up in stores, even though they're technically not supposed to be out yet. Um, a lot of stores are, are selling them. So, uh, people are getting these at Targets. And so I had a buddy of mine nab some of these. Um, something like that, whatever. Anyway, um, out in stores in some places, so keep your eye out. Um, chances are they won't be out everywhere until May 16th, uh, but there are a few, like Targets especially, um, have the highest chance of having them out, or at least having them, if you ask available for sale. Anyway, um, so that's a, that's his, his vehicle mode. Um, go ahead and pull Sergeant Tungsten, or Major Tungsten off. You want to call him Sergeant Tungsten. It's actually Major Tungsten. Um, it almost kind of looks like they modified the Shia LaBeouf head sculpt here for him. I just gave him a little more of a flat top. But, uh, but who knows. So that's the little dude. Um, oh, one of the things that is that is nice on the on these little guys is like they now have wrist articulation. I, I don't remember the uh, the previous ones uh, having that. Maybe I'm wrong, um, but that's something new. Other, other than that, they've got the same basic hip, knee, and and shoulder and neck articulation. There's nothing major about these. Now his uh, uh, um, his secondary mode, um, unlike all the other ones that turn into mech tech weapons for bigger robots, um, his secondary mode actually doesn't do that. His, um, and we'll show you. He actually turns into a mech for uh, for Major Tungsten to use. And um, basically, what you do is you do this step. You flip out his hands like that. You leave the turret up like this. I'll lift this piece up. You want to bring the whole this whole piece right here. Uh, bend it down there at the abdomen like that and then you want to bring the seat down you want to bend it at, at th there's two hinges here you want to bend it at the, the gray hinge so that this tab ends up lining up with this hole right here in the back of his crotch piece um, and then that should all plug together like that and then rotate the, take this whole turret and rotate it around and the feet these treads right here, you just want to open up into flat feet, like that. Uh, you rotate these around right there at the knee and bring them back a little bit. Just like this. I'll bring the arms around like this. And then basically you just make sure these sit flat and supports them. Now, earlier pictures had this seat collapsed all the way down like this, with this hanging down, and uh, Major Tungsten sitting in like this, which makes it look kind of like he's just kind of hanging out the bottom of the robot. Um, but you can actually fold the seat forward like this. I'll lift this up. And then you can put uh, Major Tungsten in a sitting position, uh, just like this, and plug him, plug his back onto the, onto the chair. And then his legs actually sit in the openings on the bottom of the seat here. Actually, you want to pull it out like this. See, there's actually there's actually slots there for his legs. And then this piece folds down. And with that wrist articulation, you can angle his hands to a point where he can grab onto, like he's driving. And um, it actually looks more like he's driving a mech here. And that's the other thing, too. Once you actually have him in hand, it doesn't look nearly so much like a... Uh, like the robot's crapping out a human. It looks like he's actually driving a little me mechanized uh, walker. And I don't know why a sentient robot would need to uh, 
have a human piloted mode. Um, it is kind of neat. Uh, maybe this is a mode uh, in which uh, maybe Thunderhead's consciousness is shut down for whatever. Which means we've actually got the first Transformer that can that can legitimately say, Tungsten, I need Tungsten to live. But anyway, um, but yeah, so there's his mech mode. Um, which is kind of cool. I really, I think this is one of my favorite mode of the three. Um, although robot mode's not bad either, but there's just a couple little flaws that I don't like about it. And then on to robot mode. Go ahead and pull out Major Tungsten here. Just flip him out unceremoniously, because that's all he deserves. Filthy human. Anyway, uh, turret's already in the right position. You want to pull this gun off. I'll flip these out. I'll flip this piece up like this. I'll flip this piece back and up, kind of under here. I'll bring the abdomen down like this. I'll rotate his legs back around at the knee. And then you actually pull the feet down like this. Gives him a little bit more height in, in robot mode. Here. I'll bring the arms down and around like this. And then his head. You actually pull it back like this, flip it down, and then turn his head around. And there he is in robot mode. Now, as I said, there's a few flaws in robot mode that I'm not real big on. And uh, one of those happens to be the fact that they gave him hands, but they're sideways. Like, here's his thumb, and then here's his fingers curling around like that. And they did that so when you fold them up, it, it fills in the treads. But then they didn't give him any sort of bicep swivel. So he's always kind of standing like with his hands out like this. Um, he, he, he does have this rifle he can hold. Um, any, any five millimeter uh, post, hand post can hold this gun. But he always holds it sideways like that because you can't rotate his arms around to the front. You can kind of, if you want to really get him in like this, you can kind of get it a little bit more natural. But it's just a silly, that, that's really my, my biggest flaw with robot mode. I don't know why they did that. It just seems silly to me. Because I, I would almost rather have seen, since, you know, this this part would, would have filled in, and this is the part you're going to see in vehicle mode anyway, I would have rather seen his hand like this and have a flat piece of tread there. Yeah, that could've, they could have easily done that. I don't know why they didn't do that. Or at least given him a bicep swivel, and that would have alleviated a couple of different problems, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, but other than that, I like his robot mode. Um, he does have these... Two clip-on guns that you can, if you want, you can clip onto his forearms. Um, and these will fit on any clip system. They don't they don't clip on very tight. And I'm finding that with a lot of the Human Alliance. That these uh, will clip in really well in one spot, but then not in another. They'll, they'll clip on really loosely. So, you know, your mileage may vary. Um, they clip on just fine up here, back here on the backpack. Um, and from from the backpack, if you want, you can you can rotate them around, kind of under the under the arms if you choose to, so he can use them. But yeah, there he is. Um, like I said, he's not the absolute best of the line. I think so far. Um, I think he's better than uh, than Sandstorm. I, I, I think of the five, I've had the chance to play with now. Uh, uh, Sandstorm's probably the weakest. Still worth a purchase. They're all a lot of fun. Um, uh, but yeah, Sandstorm would, I think would be, would be the weakest, maybe, you know, and, and him not far above him. Uh, and I'm not like, again, I'm not saying they're, I'm not saying they're bad. I think any of these, I'd purchase just about any of these over several of the deluxes. Um, cause they're just a lot of fun and they're small and just neat little additions to your collection, especially the ones that have weapon modes. They're totally worth it for the bigger figures. And you'll see some of that, uh, again, shortly. But there he is, Thunderhead with Major Tungsten.